Hello all, my name is Krish Naik and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this specific video, we are going to discuss about this amazing tool that is Cloud Code. And if you do not know about this, it's basically your code's new collaborator. Uh, why developers specifically uses this is to improve productivity. And uh, uh, I'll also make a detailed comparison between this and GitHub Copilot because many people definitely have a lot of questions related to that. But in this particular video, we'll do a deep dive how you can actually get started with respect to cloud code. Okay. So here you can see your code's new collaborator, unleash cloud uh, raw power directly in your terminal. So from the terminal, uh, just by providing some instructions, you'll be able, you'll be able to use AI along with the LLM models to specifically do the coding based on the plan that you have developed. Okay. Turns hour long workflow into a single command, your tools, your workflow, your code base evolving at the thought speed. Many, many companies specifically uses this. I've, I've asked many people who are working in various multi um, MNC companies and they are using it. Okay. And here you can see deep coding at terminal velocity. It also provides you different, different LLMs like cloudy Opus 4.1. It also provides you cloudy Sonnet models. Uh, the same model our researchers and engineers use right in your terminal, right? It has deep code base awareness and ability to edit files and run commands directly into your environment. So I'll show you each and everything how you can get started. So here you can quickly see that I have a VS code over here. Uh, I usually use Cloudy along with that. I also use GitHub Copilot. You know, I'll make a detailed dedicated video for GitHub Copilot. It should be like a one shot tutorial. Now uh, quickly what I will do inside this VS code. First of all, uh, let me quickly go to my command prompt and quickly I will just go ahead and write UV in it so that I initialize it with the help of UV package. Then I will go ahead and create my environment UV VNV. So here you can see my virtual environment is created. I will go ahead and activate this. Okay. Yes. These all commands that I have actually done it. If I also say cloudy code, uh, so cloud code, then it will also be able to do it. Okay. Now quickly, what I'm actually going to do, I will go to my extensions. So here you will be able to see extensions and I will go ahead and install cloudy code. Okay. So once I go ahead and just search for it, you'll be able to see that I have this. Okay, cloudy code and you can see that I've already installed it. Now, as soon as you install this, you'll be able to see that there is an icon on the right hand side, right over here. So you just go ahead and click on this and your cloudy code chat terminal will get started. Now you can see that by default, you are able to see something like this. The reason uh, you can see all this particular chat over here, it's very simple because I've already done the login. Okay, so you can either use cloudy code over here from here to the chat terminal from here to or what you can do, you can just terminate this and you can also go ahead and open your command prompt. Okay, so let's go ahead and open the command prompt. I will go to my working location specifically in this particular directory. The directory is nothing but cloudy demo. It is basically there in my E drive. So I'll say CD cloudy demo. And from here, I will just go ahead and write cloudy. Okay, so sorry cloud. So once I write this, you'll be able to see that it will go ahead and log in, right? It will tell me to log in and uh, you can just go ahead and log in uh, from the browser itself. Okay. But here right now you can see that I've already logged in. So it is not asking me to do that. Now, if you go over here and see what are the pricing options with respect to cloud here, you'll be able to see that it has a pro version. It has max five X and it has max 20 X. So in my companies, uh, I've told all my employees, uh, basically it is uh, given by the company itself, my company itself, uh, wherein we have told that everybody can consider this hundred dollar per person build monthly, right? Because the coding productivity is very, very high. Uh, for people uh, who are specifically using chat GPT, they can also use this pro version where you have $17 or $20 if build monthly. You can try out this and it is perfect for short coding sprints in smaller code bases, right? And here it provides you cloudy Sonnet for. Usually in companies, since I have a very large code base, my uh, employees, my people who are specifically working along with me, they use this. I also use this, okay, $100. And again, uh, for people who are running a business, they should definitely go with this or that. Okay, it is up to you because the performance is very, very good, right? For the people who definitely want to try it out, you can go with this, okay? Now I'll go ahead and open my command prompt. So let me quickly open my command prompt. So here you can see that uh, my prom command prompt is basically there. Here you have different, different options, okay? So uh, what you can also do is that you can go ahead and just try it down all the instruction over here. Okay. Whatever instructions you want to specifically go ahead and write. Let's say that 
I will write some instruction. I'll say that, hey, uh, what is there in the code base? Since I'm, I'm in the same uh, folder, so here you'll be able to see that I can ask any instruction. It will be able to give me that specific information. See, I'll explore the code base to see what there is. And it is probably going and hitting all the commands that is required. It is reading all these things and it will probably say me that, hey, it's probably nothing. We have not even started the development. Okay, so let's go ahead and see this. Okay, so now I think it will be able to probably summarize the entire thing. So the code base contains main.py file, this, 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 this. Okay, now let's say that I will go ahead and say that, hey, please, please create a simple flask app uh, for a basic for an advanced calculator okay so now i'm just going and giving this specific instruction as soon as i probably go ahead and do this you'll be able to see that it will start doing the planning okay so did you know that you can drag and drop image files in a terminal? So you see, it started probably doing this. I'll create a Flask app for advanced calculator. Let me start by planning this task. So the first important thing is that whenever you're using this kind of uh, code terminal, specifically like Cloud Code or GitHub Copilot, first of all, you need to go ahead and set up the plan. So it will it'll go ahead and create that plan. So here you can see that what are the dependency it will require for ask and all, right? So I will just go ahead and say, do you want to make this edit to pyproject.2ml? I will say one. Yes, that basically means this particular step will basically happen. So it will keep on asking me with respect to the flow that I've just given in a single line command right and this is very much handy for an experienced developer because then experienced developer will make sure that uh, you know they have to do a lot of repetitive tasks again and again simple applications simple modules that we do again and again the logic that we specifically build usually it's time consuming it is always good that if i have some kind of option then i directly see it so here you can see that um, do you want to make this edit to the main.py file so here i will go ahead and say plus one i'll press one and automatically you'll be able to see that this will get executed. Now here, this file that you will be able to see, you will be seeing that it will get created over here. Okay, so here you can see bash command, make directory templates, create template directory for file, HTML file, right? So I will just go ahead and press one. Now automatically you can see that the template folders is also getting created, right? So everything is happening from this particular command prompt. Okay, yes, it takes time. It basically, now it is, act, uh, it is adding the CSS styling and JavaScript functionality. Okay, and automatically after some time, you'll be able to see that that file will also get created over here. But first of all, it will ask me for the specific permission. And then you can see next step is nothing but implement advanced calculator function. Again, based on the plan, this is going to take some amount of time. Uh, so here you can see that the entire code, the JavaScript code, everything, I even I did not give the programming language, whichever is the efficient one, it is trying to create it. Okay, so here I can just go ahead and write one. And then you will be able to see that now inside my templates, my calculator.html is created, right? So if you go ahead and see this, you'll be able to see this, okay? And this particular file is created along with the entire code. Yeah? Great, right? Now here you can see that it is saying that install the Flask dependencies. I'll just go ahead and say press one because it is telling me to just press one. Okay, error file, file setup down not found, directly cannot be installed in editable. Now it will automatically even do the, see you are, you are seeing that it is doing pip install flask. Okay, I don't have to probably do it because we are using command prompt, right? So here what I will do, I will say, hey, uv add flask. I'll do the installation because I'm not even using pip, I'm using uv. Okay, now here you can see that uh, I have installed flask. Please continue the app. Now I'm just giving the instruction. Now here you can see that I've already given the instruction. I've installed that uh, Flask app. So I'm not waiting for everything to happen over here. Then it is saying me that, hey, uh, let's go ahead and run this Python main.py. So it will run in the background and automatically you will be able to see this. So here you can see that uh, trace back, some error is probably coming up, but it is also going to fix up the error, okay? It is also going to fix up the error and here only you'll be able to do each and everything in short. Okay. So quickly, let's see what error the issue is conflicting with this particular uh, content when try installing a uh, flask in your virtual environment source, this, this, this pip install flask. I've already done that. So I don't need to probably do it. Okay. Now what I will do, I will quickly go ahead and execute Python main.py from this. 
right so here you will be able to see that main.py is over here and automatically this is basically getting executed now this is my application see within five minutes within five minutes i'm able to do this right i'll put my first number 12 second number 34 i'll calculate it and automatically i should be able to get the answer result 46 right power operation 2 to the power of 8 89 just go ahead and calculate it you'll be able to see the answer to the power of 8 calculate right i should be able to see uh angles let's say 30 degrees sine 45 log i don't know 10,000 square root factorial 45 i'm able to get the answer so how fast i was able to do this right now let me show you some more ama amazing features over here i'll go back to my terminal so here also I can go ahead and start my terminal. Now see, if I just go ahead and ask this over here also, I should be able to see it, but I think you'll not be able to see my face. So I will go ahead and open. Now, uh, what I'll do is that, hey, uh, let's do one thing. First of all, I'll create a source folder. Okay. Now inside the source folder, I will just tell this, right? Create a rag application. Okay. Inside the SRC folder, or I'll say, hey, create the rack pipeline. Pipeline inside the SRC folder. Start with data ingestion where it can read or where it can probably read the data. I'm just giving a plan, okay? Data from the data folder or where it can read the PDFs from data folder. Then uh perform chunking and then store store it in the vector store vector store vector store and before that apply apply hugging face sentence transformer transformer uh, embedding okay uh, whatever spelling is there i'll just go and press enter now here you can see that automatically it will start probably doing that specific work and automatically inside the source folder my entire application will get created right and i don't have to probably do anything i will just say one 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 yes you need to be an experienced developer to just see that some kind of errors may come right so here it is seeing them make directory source rag data so let's go ahead and make this so my rag data is over basically created over here i'll go over here now here it is saying it okay fine init underscore underscore init dot py because this will be considered as a package this is my rack folder right okay i will go ahead and write like this inside my rack folder also init init dot py file is there automatically this all things will basically keep on happening right and i'm just enjoying so this is what now the main thing is that you need to have knowledge you need to have knowledge that is more than sufficient if you if you are a good coder in this industry you really need to be a very good coder okay you need to be a very good coder if you are a very good coder your productivity is basically on peak because now whatever code this ai specifically writes using different different lm models i'm able to understand so i will be able to see that what kind of error is basically happening what kind of changes is actually happening right now see automatically this data ingestion code is basically written i will just show you how this file looks like right and now if i go ahead uh, over here inside my rag see this is what is my data ingestion this is how it looks like right and i can definitely see from this there is an init method there is extract text from pdf all the code is specifically written by the ai right all i have to do is that go ahead and test it out right so that is the reason why I say that if you really want to improve your productivity, this is the thing that you really need to do. Be a very good coder. Do enough type of codings. For freshers, definitely don't waste your time in college. Be a good coder. If you're a good coder, that is more sufficient to go ahead with and do anything in this world. With just a small team, you'll be able to do this. Because at the end of the day, it's all about AI. Because these all AI are specifically trained with huge amount of data. right? So now it is implementing embedding modules with hanging fish sentence transformer automatically you'll be able to see that entire code will get created see chunking.py is also done right here you have the code all you have to do is that just execute and see whether everything is working or fine or not right so yeah uh, again you can go ahead and test it out 
Uh, I'm also going to make a detailed video on GitHub Copilot. But once you do this, you just keep on giving the instruction and automatically this will be taken care of. Uh, it will also, you can also tell that, hey, go ahead and run this, test this. If some error is gaming, it will show you the error and it will again backtrack and it will also show you the solution. That is the beautiful thing about Cloud Recovery, right? So uh, one video I'm going to specifically make a complete end-to-end -end project with the help of cloud code. And I'll show you how you can actually work as a research architect and probably just go ahead and go ahead with the development. So nowadays, people who just have amazing experience can do a lot of things. That is the best thing. So for this same thing, what we actually teach, if you go ahead in our live classes, there is a course that is coming from Generative AI for Leaders. And in this, we are going to teach you all the specific things. Right? This is our main focus uh, about this particular course, the description and the link will be given in the description of this particular video itself. Right? So I hope you like this particular video. This was it from my side. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Take care.